Hello, welcome back to LifeRay. This is my fourth video for LifeRay DXP demonstration and in this video I will talk about LifeRay audience targeting. If you remember from my first video when I was talking about LifeRay moving from being LifeRay portal to LifeRay uh, DXP, one of the main reasons for doing this is to enhance your client's experience over your platform and to enhance their experience it's uh, one of the main thing that you need to do it's not to provide the same content and the same application and the same look and feel for all the user because whatever it, um, make one user happy it doesn't have to make the other one as well every user is looking for a personalized experience over your site so in LifeRay we did um, LifeRay DXP we did a LifeRay audience targeting tool to help you build your site very dynamic so that it provides a very personalized experience to every user. So as you can see here, um, uh, you can build different assets and uh, based on the user behavior, uh, session, uh, his user attribute, you can provide him completely personalized experience over your platform. So let's see how we can do that. So we're going to go to the site. and. The best thing I really like about audience targeting is that it doesn't require you to write any line of code. So if you are a business person or a technical or, or an admin person who doesn't know how to code, you don't really need to learn anything. It's all drag and drop. It's all rules that you just write it, you define it. And then once you finish it in a couple of minutes, you can provide a very complex uh, K, a very complex dynamic case to the end user to provide very personalized experience to everyone without knowing any um, any uh, without having any technical experience or writing any line of code. So let's see how that works. So I'm gonna first log in as Bruno and if you remember from my previous video Bruno is my super user so he has access to all the admin feature. And Bruno got a request from business people said there is a new page on a site that it's called LifeRay and Red Hat. And Bruno got a request said if if a person visit, even if an anonymous person, whatever anonymous or logged in, visit this page over three times, the fourth time he joined, please show him on the welcome page an offer that if he build his LifeRay environment on Red Hat, uh, Red Hat infrastructure, they're going to take 10% off from their first year subscription. So he got that request. Bruno doesn't know any um, coding, so he's going to be able to build this by just drag and drop and building the rule in a couple of minutes. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing I would like to do is to introduce the steps that I need to do to create an audience targeting case. So the first thing is to create something called user segment. So the user segment is to it's a way to segment your users so that you can start targeting asset to them. And by the way, you in LifeRay, you don't just only target content, you target assets. So you can target content, document, blogs, wiki, discussion, videos, any type of asset in LifeRay. So um, first thing is you need to uh, create your user segment. And to create a user segment, all you need to do is just click on the add button and then you're going to have the page to start creating your rules. I already have one created, so let me show you how that looks like. So once you create the add button, you add the, the title for this rule, sorry, the title for the segment, and here it's Life Ray Red Hat User Segment, and after this, you start creating your rules. So um, we have a lot of rules out of the box, and everything here, it comes with Life Ray, I didn't build anything, and we categorize them on four categories. So the first thing is behavior. So for behavior tab, all the rules doesn't require you to be a logged in user. You can be an anonymous user and we can target asset to you based on your behavior. So one of the behavior is you visit certain content or you visit certain page and number of time you visit either this content or page. Also, pre previously visited site is a very nice feature. So if you want to build your platform and you want to detect which pages um, your uh, client visited on your competitor site before they come to your site, you can do that. You can know that. And once they come to your website, you can know what last page they were looking on. And then based on this, you can target different asset to them once they come to your pages. So you know what's in, in the mind of your client before they come to your site. So to build this, all what you need to do is just drag and drop the rules and add it to the page. So in my use case, since I said I want only someone who visited certain, I'm sorry, visit certain page, 
me delete this. I delete the wrong one. So visit a certain page. Um, so here I'm saying uh, I'm defining live free red hat user segment that someone visited the page that end by live free and red hat. And I'm going to add the score to be three, which means that visit this page at least three times. I can always drag and drop other rules here on this page. This is the first type of rules, the behavior. The other type is the session attribute. And again, that one doesn't need the user to be logged in. It can be also for anonymous user. So you can uh, categorize or segment the users based on the access time. So if someone access your site in the morning, we'll see different things that access it at night uh, using different browser, different devices, IP range, language, last login time, location. So if someone in New York, they see different things than someone in California, operating system, si uh, sign up date, and all of this at uh, attribute is coming from the session. And again, you don't need to create this segment for logged in user. It can be also for anonymous user. The third category is the user attribute, and that's only for logged in user because you can target assets based on the user attributes uh, like age, uh, gender, um, um, anything in their uh, LDAP. And a very use, nice use case on this is, let's say, for example, you're a bank and uh, you want to create um, an offer for um, a business uh, for anyone who's selling over 100,000 K. So um, to do this, you can just simply create a use case and add the custom field for um, uh, salary. And then if the user over 100,000K, you, uh, you can target different offer like credit cards offer for them, right? Um, um, for user attribute, you have everything out of the box and with custom attribute, you can get any attribute coming from your um, LDAP or user store. Last thing is the social and which is a very uh, interesting piece because you can actually track your user behavior over Facebook and you can know if they like a certain post from your competitor and based on what they like you can start targeting different assets to them when they come to LifeRay. So that's the first step. You actually create your user segments. You add rules here and every rules you added is ended with the other rule. So the user need to fulfill all the rules that you have here. And in my use case, it's just simply someone visited LifeRay and Red Hat page and visit it three times. So now I just created my rule, made it get ready. The next step is to create something called campaign. So campaign is basically, I define how long this uh, user segment will be valid and I can run a report also through that campaign to know how my campaign work, my 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 uh, my targeted asset works. So I have an imagination when someone view the offer of uh, Life and Red Hat, we we'll click on the offer, we we'll go to the offer page, and then we're gonna fill um, request a demo uh, form. So I just did this flow. I can actually monitor how that flow works like. So in my campaign here. Um, I have a live frame Red Hat campaign that I created. So simply, I just write the title of the campaign, use which segments I'm going to use, and then add the start date and end date. And after creating my campaign, I can go inside the campaign and start creating the custom report that I will use to uh, monitor how my campaign works. So let's see how the custom reports looks like. So again, it's all drag and drop. I can drop, drop, drag and drop and add components here. In my custom report, I want to track three things. Someone view the offer. I want to see how many person view the offer. And from those people who view the offer, how many want click on the offer to go to the uh, to submit a form. And from those people who went to this uh, page, how many of them actually just submit the form. So I want to monitor the 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 uh, user the user history over my site to make sure it works as exactly designed. So. I finished the second step. So the first step is to create the user segment. Second step is to create the campaign and define custom uh, reports. The third step is to define which asset I need to target if someone fulfilled the requirements of being um, um, uh, of being a um, um, of being live free and red hat um, uh, user segment, which means someone visit this page three times. So I'm going back to my page and. On my front page, what I will do here, I'm going to add something called campaign display. So I'm going back on, on the right side here and look for campaign display. And then I'm just going to drag and drop this on my page. 
and after I finish this I can start configuring my campaign so I'm gonna go to the configuration tab and here I say if my user match to be a live free and red hat campaign which means someone visit the live free and red hat page three times please show them that content so here you can target any asset to them as you can see but for my example I'm just gonna target to them a basic web content and I'm gonna target to them let me just search on the content I want I'm gonna target to them this uh, web content and the nice thing about this, you can actually add more rules. You can say, um, add another one, and then if someone fulfill another rule, please show them different rules, and you can add more and more rules. And the last one can be, otherwise, don't show them anything. So I'm just going to cancel this rule. Now I have two rules. If someone fulfill being under this user segment, show them this offer. Otherwise, don't show them anything. Now I'm going to click Save. And now I have my rules defined and I'm ready to send it to the public user to start using it. One step I need to do here first before um, uh, uh, doing that is to um, go to the Live Free and Red Hat page and configure this page to start counting how many times the person uh, visit this page because once it hit three times, Live Free will start uh, uh, sending the offer to that user. So to do this, you need to go to the configuration of this page and go to the SEO tab and then click on select user segment and now I'm gonna select live free and red hat user segment and click save so now uh, this page will start counting how many times the user will accessing it whatever logged in or anonymous user the next step I want to do is I'm gonna go to my home page and by the way, this is actually counted for Bruno as one time he visited this page here. So since he was on the page and just configure it, now the page start counting that on him. Now I'm ready to start sending this to public. They can use it. But before doing this, I can actually do something called simulation. So I can actually test how that works. And if I have complex use cases, I can test them together, make it sure it works good before send the uh, send the production and send the code to the production environment so that user can start using it so in my case here I can um, say if I am a desktop and I am a person that um, visit the live fray and red hat page three times so now yeah this is the offer that I will see on my page if I'm not fulfilling the offer I'm not gonna see anything here right other thing I can see I can actually see if I am on a tablet browser or mobile browser how my pages will look like just to make sure my uh, my um, uh, uh, responsive design works correctly with all the content I can actually simulate how life free looks like on different devices so you create the content and rules of asset publisher once and life free would take care of making that site works for all the devices right so I just created my use case here and it looks good uh, now I'm ready to send it to the public one last thing I didn't really like is to have the campaign ID on the top so I can actually customize this by going to the uh, look and feel tab and just make this as bar bones click yes and now if I went back to the welcome page so now it doesn't show the header so you can actually min even without writing code you can change a lot of look and feel features in life free so now I'm ready to start testing this use case so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this URL go to another browser and I'm gonna I'm gonna log here as Bruno again and what I will do is in this browser I'm gonna just open the reports and in the other browser I'm gonna access as an anonymous user and do the use case go into the page three time and we'll see how our report change so I'm gonna go uh, here to the reports under um, audience targeting campaigns and then uh, live free red hat campaign reports and then I'm just gonna go to that report now so just click update so this is data that I previously used it before so here five people viewed the offer three of them click on the offer to go to the view demo form and then two of them just finish the form and submit it so not all the people that viewed the offer they're actually submitting the form so here I can see how my flow on my uh, of my user on my site so let's see how that works so I'm going back to my page and I'm gonna kill this session
so that I can start a new anonymous session here so I'm on my page I'm not signed in as you can see and I don't see the contents now because I didn't visit the live free page three times so I'm gonna do that now so first click seeing this page going back to my site nothing here second click going back to my site still nothing here now the third one going back to my site now I can start seeing that offer so as you can see here my reports so it was five time people view that report if I update it now you can see now it's actually six time people saw that report right if I refresh the page and go to the offer ref update my report now it shows that there is seven time people viewed that report so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna click on book uh, book your demo so I need to um, book a demo with Liferay to show me the integration between Red Hat and, and, and Liferay so now I went to the forum request page so here it was three time I accessed this page if I refresh my browser now it show me that four time this page got accessed okay so I'm gonna fill my forms here so I'm gonna add my name my email And by the way, in one of the um, upcoming demos, we're going to talk about how I can create this form without writing any line of code. So Liferay comes with something called Liferay Forms that you can use to build forms without writing any codes. Anyway, so I'm going to click Next and then add my company uh, name, ABC, for example, and then country. So this country is actually calling a web service to get all the countries. Um, I define this in my form so I'm looking for United States of America and then I'm gonna add my address here any address 123 West Street and uh, demo request dates end of May and all it's gonna be both technical and business people I can start adding the names but since it's not required I'm not gonna add any name here and I'm gonna click Submit so now this form got sent to Liferay and here if I refresh so previously it was two people submit the form but if I refresh this now it shows that there is four people because I actually um, 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 didn't refresh it before one time before doing this so there were two people submitting this form and now Liferay show me that there is two people interact with this uh, form here so with this report I can easily view that seven people view the offer five of them click on the uh, view offer page and four of them only they actually submit the form so you can easily monitor the flow of your user on your site to make sure your uh, use case work as as expected so um, with this part I'm just uh, demo uh, part of the audience targeting uh, please subscribe to my channel for news videos and um, so we'll see you in the next videos bye